Hello everyone and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Tyrone was down in the dumps after his wife Faze called from Norwich to tell him that her boss had offered her a free trip to Italy. Tyrone was unable to accompany her owing to childcare responsibilities, which Evelyn believed was unfair, and she quickly devised a plan to make things right. Meanwhile, Roy Cropper, David Nielsen, was left to console niece Nina Lucas, Molly Gallagher, following her breakup with Asha Allahan, Tana Shigori, and was quick to offer her her old place back, despite the fact that she was now homeless. However, this would entail telling Evelyn that she would have to move out, which Roy was reluctant to do. Fortunately, before Roy could share the bad news, Evelyn dropped a bombshell of her own. She was moving back into Tyrone's place. Roy and Nina were happy that their dilemma had been solved, and the reason for Evelyn's decision will soon become evident. When Evelyn returned home, she was greeted by an apologetic Cassie, who was still determined to show Evelyn how sorry she was for allowing her to take the responsibility for her attack on Terry a week before. Despite Evelyn's earlier admission that she didn't believe Cassie had purposefully broken into Terry's house to take his money, the mood between them remained cold, however it soon became evident that Evelyn was willing to warm slightly. She told Cassie that Terry had been charged with animal cruelty and breeding dogs without a license, then mumbled about how she'd had previously been too harsh with Cassie. Cassie was amused and asked if it was her idea of an apology, but Evelyn urged her not to go too far. She then announced that she would be returning to help care for the children, and Cassie was relieved that they had reconciled. Tyrone later arrived home and voiced his confusion at having Kevin Webster, Michael Lavelle, on the phone confirming that he could take time off work as Evelyn desired. Evelyn was quick to tell that he would be accompanying Fizz to Italy and that he should quickly pack, explaining how she and Cassie would be able to put their differences aside to keep everything in order while he was gone. Billy Mayhew, Daniel Brocklebank, is afraid in Coronation Street next week because he believes Paul Foreman, Peter Ash, is planning to take his life sooner than he expected. Billy was shocked when he learned about Paul's assisted dying plot on the ITV serial. At first, he refused to let Paul go through with it, but after hearing his spouse speak about his own choices and how he did not want to become a hostage inside his own body, Billy vowed on the Bible and consented to assist him when the time came. Next week, newly returning Bernie, Jane Haslegrove, calls the flower shop flat and tells P.A. Moses to take some time off while she cleans it. However, as she unlocks a cupboard door, Paul realizes Bernie is about to uncover the benzos. Later in the week, Bernie is overjoyed when Paul and Gemma agree to spend the night in the ancient RV, but things begin to go awry when Bernie pulls over in Laby and realizes she is a little disoriented. Back at home, Billy tries to call Paul, ignorant that his phone has no reception. Meanwhile, Bernie stops the RV in the middle of a field and explains to Paul and Gemma that she has no idea where the campsite is. With the family trapped, a concerned Billy explores the flat and discovers the benzo tablets are missing. Calling his husband again, the call goes through but is picked up by Gemma, who hears Billy implore Paul not to take the medicines because it is way too soon. In recent Coronation Street scenes, Adam Barlow, Sam Robertson, has crossed a line by forming a deadly alliance with killer Harvey Gaskell, Will Meller, in order to exact revenge on Damon Hay, Siren Griffiths. Damon wrecked havoc in Adam's life when he slept with Sarah Platt, Tana O'Brien, and now that Damon has returned and made things official with Sarah, Adam isn't happy. During a family supper when Sarah revealed her new relationship to the rest of the Platts, Adam burst in, shouting the odds about Damon's visit to Harvey in prison earlier that day. Though Damon's visit was to inform Harvey that he no longer wanted to be involved in his criminal activities, Adam argued that Damon couldn't be trusted and made it obvious that he didn't want him living under the same roof as young Harry. With Sarah unwilling to dump dangerous Damon, Adam took matters into his own hands and scheduled a visit to meet Harvey himself. At the prison, Adam told Harvey that he was willing to do whatever it took, legal or illegal, to assist him get off the murder charge. In exchange, he insisted that Harvey do whatever it needed to get rid of Damon. 
Harvey was unsure at first, noting that Damon appeared to be keen to stay on Coronation Street, but Adam insisted on finding a means to scare him away. When Adam returned to the street, Sarah approached him, apologizing for her previous remarks and insisting that Adam will always be Harry's father. Back at his flat, Adam got a call from Harvey, who had finally decided on Adam's proposition. He admitted to being a part of the arrangement, but when Adam questioned how he meant to get rid of Damon, he refused to divulge any information. However, he made it obvious that Adam would owe him a lot if he upheld his end of the arrangement. Adam quickly acknowledged that he understood. Will he regret his decision? Helen Flanagan had a family reunion, spending the day with her former on-screen mother and sister. The Rosie Webster actress, 33, met up with Sally Dynever, Sally Metcalf, and Brooke Vincent, Sophie Webster, in Manchester. Helen went makeup-free with her hair in a fashionable messy bun, while Sally, 60, sported a camel-colored coat and Brooke, 31, chose a bright throwback jacket. The group smiled as they posed for photos outside the ABC Dome. Helen and Brooke were on-screen sisters on the ITV soap, but they have now moved on to explore new ventures in family life. Helen played Rosie from 2000 to 2018, while Brooke played younger sister Sophie from 2004 to 2019. Helen's participation at the event follows her New Year's celebrations in Indonesia with her three children, Matilda, Delilah, and Charlie, which she documented on social media. However, in her most recent post, she explained that it wasn't all smooth. She wrote, the mum around the pool with the loud kids, a monkey snatched my wee wee sunglasses and Delilah's Nintendo Switch, and I burned my boobs, too busy making sure the kids had cream on them. Her former on-screen sister Brooke Vincent, Sophie Webster, said, No, the caption, the mayhem. I can imagine. The actress separated from her previous spouse in November 2022, but they remain on good terms as they co-parent their children. Helen and Scott were engaged for four years before splitting up when she departed for I'm a Celebrity Filming in South Africa, according to The Sun. Adi Alahan, Adam Hussein, almost died on Coronation Street due to carbon monoxide poisoning. Luckily, Amy Barlow, Ella Mulvaney, became concerned when she couldn't get an answer from Adi at his flat and broke in to find him asleep on the sofa. Adi was transported to the hospital where a doctor diagnosed what had happened and indicated that he was extremely fortunate to be alive. This certainly came as a tremendous shock to Adi's family, notably his father Dev, Jimmy Harkishin, and twin sister Asha, Tanisha Gori. After Adi is released from the hospital, Dev insists on seeing him at home, saying he will not let him return to the place where he nearly died. Asha informs her brother that she and girlfriend Nina Lucas, Molly Gallagher, have split up and Nina has moved out. Adi is extremely remorseful because he and Nina kissed soon before he became ill. This followed after Asha accused Nina of reporting paramedic Isla, Emily Dowson, to her superiors for having an inappropriate interest in Asha, claiming she was jealous. Adi and Nina kissed after their argument with Amy. Although they both vowed to never mention the kiss again and recognized it was a mistake, Adi was eventually obliged to confess to Asha about what had transpired. So in a subsequent episode, when Asha informs him that Nina has moved out, he blames himself. Do you want to be the first to hear shocking EastEnders spoilers? Who is leaving Coronation Street? What's the latest Emmerdale gossip? Metro.co.uk is now on WhatsApp, delivering all the latest developments and current stories directly to your phone, ensuring you never miss a storyline again. It turns out that Asha, too, is keeping a guilty secret. As she helps her brother pack up his flat, he discovers a bracelet on the floor, the one he gave Asha for her birthday. He cannot figure out how it got there. Viewers are aware that Asha called to confront Adi about Nina, and when she arrived, he was asleep on the sofa. She flung the jewelry at him and stormed out. Asha feels terrible now that she realizes her brother wasn't asleep, but rather unconscious. Will she come clean about abandoning him to die? Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.